Okay, Winnie the Pooh. We're gonna start on Piglet's body. Um, it seems like some people are having trouble with this kit in particular. If you tell me wh what you're struggling with, I can maybe help. If you don't, I can't. But I also have a video that goes over the basics. So if it's if that's what's giving you trouble, that video might help you. So for Piglet's body, we need dark pink and dark rose. So I have lined my colors up. I'm, I'm really happy with this paper because, you know, otherwise it'd be a little confusing, I think. And I am saying that this is the dark pink and that this is the dark rose. And so we are going to start with this dark pink. So we are starting with a magic ring. And um, I'm going to bring the tail of my yarn over my finger and wrap it around once. And then I'm just going to hold that tail between my thumb and my middle finger down here. This yarn over here that's uh, connected to the rest of our yarn is my working yarn. This is my tail. And I'm going to take the hook, go under the tail, which is the part connected. Stop flicking. Um, to this piece down here that I'm holding. So I'm going to go under, grab this loop of my working yarn and pull it under. And I'm going to twist my hook and then bring my hand over and pinch the bottom of this loop and the tail where they overlap. And then grab the working yarn, raise it up, and switch to pinching all this, this whole loop and this tail with my other hand to do my slip stitch to close it. And then release that, let it spring back facing this way. And now we are going to do six single crochet into this loop. So hook goes into the loop instead of a stitch. So normally I hold this like basically right here, you know, and I just, I'm working into this space, but that makes it a little bit harder to see. So that's why I'm kind of holding it stretched out down here. So I'm keeping my finger right now on this loop so that this doesn't slide around as much just to give me a little more control. So in, I'm going to grab my working yarn, which I'm holding up with my index finger, bring it under. So I have two loops on my hook and then I'm going to yarn over, pull through both of those loops for one single crochet. This is my first single crochet and I'm going to continue to do this five more times. So insert into the loop, grab the yarn, pull it up, yarn over, pull through both loops. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, I split my loop there. Get back on the hook. Six. Okay. So from our hook, we have the loop on our hook, which we don't count as a stitch. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to pull this tail to tighten this up. We can secure that more later. Now in this pattern, we are not joining. We are just continuing to work. So we need a stitch marker. Okay, so here we go. Here is our first single crochet here. This is the first single crochet we made. Again, you can count back one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we're gonna insert under both loops here. We are going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. But after this first one, we are going to put the stitch marker in. So insert under both loops of that stitch, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook for your first single crochet. And then I will put my stitch marker in and then into the same space under the same loops I will put another single crochet. So two. Then I'll move on to the next stitch, this stitch right here, and put two in here. So I'll count three and four into there. Then in our next stitch right here, I'll put two, five, and six. Here is our next stitch right here. So this is seven and eight. And then in our next stitch here, we'll put nine and 10. And then in our last stitch of the round, right here, 11 and 12. When we get this piece to be a little bit bigger, we'll tie this end down, but for now we'll leave it. When they put the yarn in like this long thing that's like folded and you have to untie it and whatever, whatever end I seem to pick is always seems to be the wrong end for it to unravel nicely and not be really annoying. And the cactus, the brown yarn for the dirt in the cactus kit was like so irritating for that kept nodding that's not relevant round three one single crochet in the first stitch two single crochet in the next so we are going to repeat that pattern around so this first one i'll demonstrate all the way around but um later on when we do a similar pattern i'll only do like the first one so i took my stitch marker out this here's our first stitch of the round so i'm gonna go in under there and do my first single crochet and put my stitch marker back right away and then in the next stitch so we've done one single crochet in the first stitch now in the next we are going to put two so the stitch right here we will do one and then we will do our second one a lot of times I'll count these in threes so here's our next stitch. We're back to doing one. And then in our next stitch right here, we'll put two, three. We'll continue this around. So one, And then two, three, one, two, three, one. two, three, and now when they tell you, well, in this case, they don't even say repeat it around, but we know that's what they mean. Um, unless they specify otherwise, whatever the pattern ends on. So this is one single crochet and then two single crochet in the next, and you're repeating that around. You should end on that two single crochet. So one, and then in the next, last, we'll do two, three. You can count these however you want. That's how I usually end up counting because it seems to make the most sense to me. Round four, similar, but a little different. We're gonna do one single crochet in the next two and then two single crochet in the next. So stitch marker out. One single crochet here, 
the start of this round. Stitch marker back in right away. And then in the next one single crochet, and I'll count this as the first one one, this one being two, and then three and four, and count in sets of four around. So one, two. Now in the next, I'll put three, four, and then repeat that around. So one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, all the way around. So I'll finish this round out and I'll be back. Okay, so I finished out that round and I see we're switching to the dark rows now. So I'm actually going to take out my last stitch of the of the two single crochet in this one. If you've not gotten there yet, just you can just not do the last one. Um, but I already did it before I noticed. So I'm going to take my hook out and I'm going to gently pull just until this loop comes out of these two loops. So this loop that just came free is the loop we're going to put our hook back into. I'll pull that other loop through, lift this one up. Now I'm doing this because we'll do the color change during the last stitch. But first, I'm going to go ahead and tie this end down. Now that we uh, have a little more space to work with, I'm going to pull this out just so that I don't accidentally pull that through while I'm doing this. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tighten this down, make sure it's closed, and then tie it down. So give it a pull, it's stayed pretty tight. I'm just going to slip under a nearby loop. I'm going to hold this part of the loop so that when I pull this I don't accidentally just pull it all the way flat. And then I'm going to go through that loop with my needle and tighten that down. Um, now I will just weave this end in and around a little bit, go under a stitch here or there. Um, like so. And then for now, I will just leave this sitting here. I might trim it later if it's getting on my nerves. Or I might just leave it to sit there inside of the body. So we're at the last stitch of round four, which is the second stitch of this increase. So what we're gonna do is insert like you normally would, pull up the loop like you normally would, and then we're going to drop this color and we're going to pick up our dark rose color. Where is an end? Why? See, why did they do this in such a unreasonable way? Okay. Everything's fine. We're going to take this tail, wrap it around our hook. It just needs to be long enough, kind of, to, to tie off and secure on the other side. Get down here, stitch marker, please. Thank you. And pull through those two loops. Let's see, it's already getting in my way. And we've done our color change. Now I'm going to tighten this loop from my other pink back down. And then I'm going to do, we're going to have a lot of loops kind of going on for a, a little bit, but we'll fix it in a minute. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker. And my next round is just a single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm going to do this first single crochet. And I'm going to do it also around this little tail. So 
I'm going to insert under this first stitch of the rounds and then make sure that that tail is just on top of my hook like that. I'm going to hold it down with the work. Yarn over, pull up that loop. Yarn over, pull through both loops on my hook. Put my stitch marker back in. And now I'm going to come to the back and because we are just doing a quick row, I'm not going to cut this, this yarn. I'm just kind of going to leave it there. But I am going to tie this real quick to secure this end. So I'll slip my hook out to give me a little bit of space. And then I'll just take these two and knot them together. I don't want to pull too, too tight and tighten anything up too much. I'll tighten a little more on the second knot. And then I'm just going to do that again. To secure that end. Now. Why have you done this? My stitch marker was on the wrong side. Okay, so I'm going to take this yarn and bring it closer to me and leave this one back there where it is. And now I'm just going to single crochet I need stitch around, but when we get to this last stitch, we're going to switch back. So that was one. And we're just going to do one in each around. I don't know if this will have us doing one single crochet in each stitch around again for this part of the pattern. But if we do, um, I won't demonstrate that, but I will for this one. And now once we're getting into, we're not increasing anymore. Now this will start taking shape um, by, we're starting to build up the walls. So we'll start curving up more once this one's done. Telling this color from the red color, as far as shade was difficult, the red color for the shirt for Pooh just had more yarn um, and this one is slightly darker. I don't even know if the difference in the two reddish colors will show up on the camera but I picked the one that had more yarn for the red for Pooh. Okay. So that's one single crochet in each stitch around. Now I could have counted those all out loud um, to do a stitch count, but I'll just do one after I finish this round. Oh wait, we're color changing, so I'm not gonna finish that one. Okay. Let me knot that down again. Okay. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, and twenty-four. So now we're gonna switch back and I'm going to insert, pull up that loop. And then I'm going to drop this yarn, move it to the back, and pick up this pink. And I'm just going to pull that through instead. So now we've switched back. 
So we are now at round six. Six, seven, and eight are single crocheting stitch around, so I won't show the full the, I won't show the full thing, but each time we're gonna carry this up so that it's available to us when we need it later. So I'm just gonna basically crochet around it when I do my first crochet like I did before. So I take my stitch marker out. We're working with this color now. I'm gonna insert into that first stitch. Now in this case, it's already right here, but just for continuity's sake, I guess, I'll do it. So I make sure that's over my hook like that and hold it with the rest of the tops of the stitches and then just do that why don't you want to pull through? There we go. First single crochet around it. And then I'll let that fall. Put my stitch marker back in. And I will do what I just did. One single crochet in each stitch around. But I'll come back at the end of the round to carry the, the yarn up. Okay, so we're at the end of round six. So I'm gonna start my next round. You could also do this in the last stitch of the round. It doesn't really matter. The primary purpose of this is to bring this up in a way that's gonna have consistent tension. If I waited until I was at the top and just lifted it up like this, it could cause a, a pull kind of because it wasn't brought up consistently. So the first stitch of the round, I'm just gonna insert, bring that yarn over my hook again, crochet around them both, if it will let me get my hook through here. Oh, I caught part of the loop, that's why. Get off. Okay. Finish that up and then just lay that back down again and do this round seven, again, single crochet in each stitch of rounds, and I'll be back. Okay, so this is the end of round seven, going to round eight. So I'm gonna insert for my first single crochet, make sure that yarn is over my hook, and then again, finish off that single crochet, put my stitch marker back, And let that hang. So now finish out eight and then at the end of eight we're going to switch again but then it's not going to be a row of single crochet. So I'll finish out this one and be back. Okay so the end of eight I have my last stitch left because we're going to switch to the dark rows. We're still going to switch back to the dark pink, so I'm not getting rid of either yarn yet. But I'm going to insert under the stitch, bring up that loop, drop this yarn, and grab the rest of my dark rose and bring it to the front. And then pull that through my two loops instead. Tighten that back down a little. And now we're going to continue this next round, round nine with this dark rose. So I'll take out my stitch marker. So we are going to start with a decrease over the first and second stitch, single crochets, and then single crochet in the next four. And we're gonna continue that around. So I'm gonna insert under the first stitch. Oh, I don't want that loop there in the way. Get out of the way and pull up a loop. Instead of finishing this single crochet, I'm gonna insert under the second stitch, pull up a loop so that there's three loops on my hook, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that is decreased, so we're gonna put our stitch marker in. And now we're going to do four single crochet. So starting here in our next stitch, One, two, three, 
four. Now again, we're gonna continue the pattern by starting with a decrease. So insert under the first, pull up a loop, insert under the second, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, and then starting here, in our next stitch, we're gonna do four single crochet. One, two, three, four, and again our decrease, so decrease here, and then starting here for single crochet, and just like before we wanted to end on the, what's that, two, yeah, end on the increase, um, this time the end of the pattern that we're ending on is the four single crochet. So decrease. But just like before, we'll be ending on whatever the original set of instructions ends on. So one, two, three. Now let me check. Are we switching back right away? I think we are. Yes. So this is four and in this one we're going to switch back. So I'm going to pull up a loop, take this yarn, put it back to the back, pick up the pink and pull that through. Okay. Now 10 is single crochet you need to stitch around, 20 single crochet. So I will do that rounds and be back. And actually, let me check this real quick. Okay, so we do not need our dark rows anymore. So we can trim this. And we will secure that. Um, might as well secure it now. I'll secure it to the tail that I left in here. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do this so that it's basically loose against the body. But that the knot is tight so that it doesn't come undone. Because that's really all we're trying to do is keep this yarn from kind of working its way back out so I'm holding my finger inside here if your tail isn't long enough you can run this under a stitch and tie it to itself like we secured the end earlier it really doesn't however you want to secure it I'm gonna do it like that and then just tuck that back in and I'll do this next round and be back. Okay, so this is the end of round 10. 11 is the last round. We are going to do a decrease and then single crochet in the next three and repeat that around. So, start with our decrease. stitch marker and then one two three now when I'm working with smaller things like this I tend to keep the other side folded down and away from where I'm working so that I don't accidentally catch it so we're starting again with our decrease And then one, two, three, decrease, one, 
two, three, decrease. One, two, three. Okay. And now we are just going to tie off with a slip stitch. I'm checking to see if the head told us to leave a tail. It didn't, but we did leave a tail. I remember doing it. So I think this time I'm not going to. So I'm just going to slip stitch. So insert, pull up a loop, pull through the loop on your hook, tighten down. And then snip that. Okay, so here is the body. Now, next up, we have the arms with the light pink. Light pink is what we made the head with. So. This is our dark pink. This is our dark rose. This is our light pink. What do they call this other color? Light rose. Okay, so we're gonna set these aside. And start on the arms here. Okay, so the arms and legs start the same. And then the only thing that's different is after the first two rounds, you do up to round seven of single crochet. And for the legs, you only go through six. So I'll start at the beginning, do the first two rounds and then I'll do the rounds of single crochet. So what is it? Three, four, five, six off camera, but come back for six because that's where the legs will end and then finish the arms that way. So we got our light pink yarn and we are, this is the same one we did the head in and we are starting with a, uh, magic ring. So we did this beginning already um, with the body. So I'm going to do it a little faster. Just bring the tail around your finger under the tail, grab the working yarn, bring it under and twist, pinch, shift, pinch, chain, and let it untwist. And then six single crochet into this loop like we did before. So one, two, three, four. Okay, root. Five. Six, two, Four, six. So I'm going to tighten this up. Now for our next round, instead of doing two single crochet in each stitch around to increase, we're only doing an increase in the first one here. So here's our first single crochet. You can count back from the hook like we did earlier if you need to find it. I'm going to work my way under these two loops, which is usually more difficult. Goodness, this is tight right now. Hi, hi. Okay. So we're doing two single crochet 
in the first single crochet. It says in each first. So that's one. And that's our first stitch. So we are going to put our stitch marker in. And then we'll put our second one in here in the same spot. Okay. And then one stitch in each of the rest. So one, two, three. four, five. Okay, now, um, before we move on, and before I do the next stitch, I'm gonna tie this down, and then I'll just start the next round. So now we're at single crochet and each stitch around, which you want this to be curving this way. This is the outside and that's this with the tail is the inside but I'm turning it this way so I can do the tail. So I'm going to do the tie the tail down and then I'm going to start the rows of single crochet in each stitch around moving my stitch marker and I'm going to do up through six and then be back. Okay so this is the end of round six. So we have two, four, six. This is the leg. So slip two, well, not both sides, but just the next stitch. So slip stitch, oh, I caught a loop that I didn't want to catch. Tighten it down. Guesstimate a tail for sewing, which won't be very much for something this small. Trim and pull through. And that's the leg. Now for the arm, we're just going to do one more row. First stitch in, stitch marker back in, and then just one single crochet in each of these around. Okay, so now we are going to fasten off and leave a small tail. For the leg, you'll follow the same instructions, but stop at round six. And make two of each. And the last piece is the ears. So the ears, we use the light rose. This one, which we haven't used yet. And we start the same way for the first For the very first round, the way that we started the last couple of things with the magic circle and six single crochet. So I'll do that pretty quickly. Okay. 
So, tail around your finger, under there, grab the working yarn, twist, pinch, shift, and slip. Technically, I guess that's a chain, but you know. Um, okay, where are we? Ears. Six single crochet. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's close this up. And now for our next round, we're gonna be doing one single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochet in the next. So alternating a single crochet and an increase. So two, four, six. We're gonna work our way under here. To do our first single crochet the next round. Put our stitch marker in. And then here in our next stitch, which is here, not here, we are going to put two. One, two. And then in our next stitch, one, our next stitch here, one, two, and then in our next one, and then the last here we'll do one, two. Now for round three, I'll show the, the first set, but I probably won't show the rest of them. This time we're gonna do one single crochet in the first two and then do our increase. Although the round's so small, I might just continue doing it. So we got our first single crochet here. So one, put that back in. And then in our next stitch, we'll do one. And then in the next stitch over here, we'll put two. Yeah, I'll just finish this out real fast. So one, Two, and then in the next stitch, three and four, and one more time, one, two, and then three. Four. So that was round three. So four is just a single crochet in each. So I'm gonna tighten this down, tie it down, do that round and be back. Okay, this is after round four. So now we single crochet in the first three, then two in the next. So I'll do the first single crochet here, put my stitch marker back, that's one, two, three, increase, and just like we did before, 
repeat that around and I'll be back. Okay, and around five and now around six, one single crochet in the first four and then increase. So we'll do a first single crochet here. Stitch marker in, that's one, two, three, four, and then two single crochet in our next for the increase. One, two, and repeat that around. And then there are two rounds of single crochet, one in each stitch around. So I'm gonna finish this and then do those two rounds and be back. Okay, end of round eight, round nine, single crochet in the first four stitches, decrease over the next two and repeat around. So stitch marker out, first single crochet, one, two, three, four, decrease and repeat that all the way around um, and the next round is just single crochet in each stitch around so I'm gonna finish this round out do round 10 and then I'll be back okay so here's the end of round uh, 10 round 11 is the last round so we're gonna single crochet in the first three and then decrease and repeat that around. So I'll do my first single crochet here. Stitch marker back in. One, two, three, decrease. Two, three, decrease, one, two, three, decrease. Okay, so we are going to tie off with a slip stitch and leave our tail. Slip stitch, guesstimate a tail for sewing. That's probably good. Okay, so that is all you need to make all the pieces uh that's gonna be it for this one because i still have to make the second ear second arm and both legs um so next time we will finish this one up but um yep that's it for today hope this was helpful and see you next time